disobedience of parents is considered from the major sins. And Abi Bakr radiyallahu ta'ala an, Abu Bakr radiyallahu ta'ala an, who relates, qala qala nabiyu sallallahu alayhi sallam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi sallam said thrice, ala unabbi'ukum bi akbar al-kaba'iri thalathan, that shall I not inform you of the gravest of the major sins? Qalu bala ya Rasulullah, we responded, they responded, certainly O Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi sallam. قال الإشراك بالله وأكوك الوالدين وجلس وكان متكئا فقال وقول الزور فما زال يكررها حتى كنا ليته سكتا. The Prophet sallallahu responded, associating partners with Allah and disobeying per- parents, and he sallallahu sat up as he had been reclining and said, and false testimony. He continued to repeat false testimony until we said to ourselves. We hope he becomes silent, meaning it's so strenuous that the Prophet is saying this over and over and over. Laytahu sakata. We hope that he stops saying this. So this is a very straightforward chapter in which, as I've mentioned, the ulama they deduce from this that there are different categories of uh, sins. So some are considered minor, some are considered major, and this ahadith points to that from the major sins there are those that are considered extremely, extremely grotesque. Um, they stand out from the major sins. And the three that the Prophet ﷺ has mentioned here is number one, shirk, associating partners with Allah. Number two, um, disobedience to one's parents. And number three, um, false statements and lying. Um, the ulama, they mentioned that this is not limited to these three deeds. Okay, So there are other major sins. So for example, qatl murder would be considered of the, major, the worst of sins as well etc. But the Prophet ﷺ, for whatever need or intent and purpose mentioned these three at this particular junction because there was a need for them to be mentioned. We're just going to go over the next chapter as well. Bab Sagari man falam jannah. That the deplorable nature of someone who finds his parents in an elderly state or age and does not enter paradise through them. Now this chapter has approximately three or four hadiths so we're just going to relate the, the, the longest one of them. Which, con- which contains the, the message along with some other messages as well. And Kaab ibn Ujrat radiyallahu ta'ala an related from Kaab ibn Ujrat qal qal nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ahdiru or uhdiru al-minbar the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said come close to the minbar falamma kharaja faraqiya al-minbar faraqiya awwala darajatim minhu qala ameen the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then he ascended the minbar and Upon the first step, he said, Ameen. ثُمَّ رَقِيَ فِي الثَّانِيَةِ فَقَالَ آمين. ثُمَّ لَمَّ رَقِيَ الثَّالِثَةِ قَالَ آمين. And he did similar as he ascended the second step, he said, Ameen. And as he ascended the third step, he also said, Ameen. قَالْ فَلَمَّا فَرَغَ وَنَزَلَ عَنِ الْمِنْبَرِ كنا يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ لَقَدْ سَمِعْنَا مِنْكَ الْيَوْمَ الشَّيْءَ مَّا كُنَّا نَسْمَعُهُ مِنْكَ that when the Prophet ﷺ descended from the member after saying this, we said to the Messenger ﷺ, Ya Rasulullah, we have seen and observed you do something today that we've not seen you do before. This is the first time we've noticed you do this. قال, وسمعتموه, the Prophet ﷺ said, you heard me say what I said? قلنا, نعم. So we responded, yes. قال, اعترض, قال, من أدرك رمضان فلم يغفر له فقلت آمين فلما رقيت الثانية قال بعد من أدرك من ذكرت عنده من ذكرت عنده فلم يصلي عليه فقلت آمين فلما رقيت الثالثة قال بعد من أدرك عنده أبواه الكبر أو أحدهما فلم يدخله الجنة قلت آمين. So the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said that you heard what I said. They said yes, يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم. So then he responded. Indeed, Jibril عليه الصلاة والسلام appeared and he said, May that person be distant from the mercy of Allah who reaches Ramadan and is not forgiven. So I said آمين. Then when I ascended the second step, he said, May that person be di- distant from the mercy of Allah, who does not send salutations upon me, or upon you, Jibreel alayhi salam, saying it, when you are mentioned in his presence. So I said, Ameen. And then when I ascended the third step, he, Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam, said, Distant from the mercy of Allah be that person who finds his parents, or one of them in an elderly age, and they are not a means of his entry into paradise. So I said, Ameen. Quite simply, this hadith is very self explaining that the Prophet ﷺ is indicating, especially in this last discussion or in this last, uh, from the three uh, means, the Prophet ﷺ is saying that admittance into paradise is extremely, extremely easy if one finds himself to have one or both of his parents in their elderly age. 
All he has to do is be kind to them and be at their service and assist them. And so the Prophet is saying Amin to this dua. Why? Because if someone is unable to attain their, para- uh, their paradise, even though they have this situation with them, then what mercy should they deserve from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Imam Qadhi Iyad Maliki rahmatullahi alayhi, he says that unlike other good deeds where if you do your minor sins are forgiven, the indication of this hadith says that if you are service, or if you are of good service to your parents in their elderly age, it will have your major sins erased as well. So unlike other deeds where when you see that sins are forgiven because of a good deed, the ulama generally say that that's specific to minor sins. But where the Prophet is saying that by being of good service to your parents, you will attain Jannah, that means that not only your minor, but also your major sins are forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is a tremendous, tremendous gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives for something that is a right of the parents anyways, that one is good to them in their elderly age. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant me the understanding. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of you the understanding. Grant us the tawfiq inshaAllah to be of good service to our parents when they are young and when they are old as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep their shade over us for a very long time. Wa akhiru da'wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Subhanallah bihamdi, subhanakallahumma bihamdik. أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك جزاكم الله خير